This is Michelle Sadek. I'm making this video for my methods class. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and short percussion ensemble piece. So I'm just putting together my instruments here. I want a glockenspiel. I want a marimba, just the one staff. I want a vibraphone. And I want a drum set. I just started with a blank score and I hit added uh, change instruments. And I want a cut time. I want C major. Just put in a title here. Uh, oh, I just remembered I do want a pickup bar. So I'm going to start a bar with length of a quarter note making sure I have everything else I need and finish. Alright, so I want the drum set on the bottom so I'm going to go to instruments. Shortcut for that is the letter I on the keyboard. Um, just adding some bars first. So I and drum set, I'm moving down. Okay. And I added those bars by going to create and so I'm just going to put in some notes here for the sake of the demonstration. If your aural skills are in tune, you will probably recognize it. Just using some simple copy and paste here. I made those triplets by putting in a half note and then uh, control 3 or command 3. I'm using a Windows computer. I just saved it, gave it a title. Make sure you put in your expression, especially if you're a Silverman student. He wants you to put it in right away. I'm going to give the vibraphone some notes. Um, Glockenspiel is really good um, resonant in the high range. The vibraphone has nice resonant chords. Don't give it more than four notes at a time. Don't make them too far apart. Um, people's hands are really so big. If you have like a super professional, you might play more than four notes, but I would say as a basic rule of thumb don't, not to do that. I'm going to switch the melody over to the marimba now. Um, I'm just putting in notes by putting the note name in on my keyboard, so E, 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 A, A, B, C, very simple. I also have a, a keypad. If you have a keypad on the right of your screen, you don't have to click on all these like I am right now. I'm just not used to it yet. Um, this keypad on your screen is the same as your your number keypad on the, on the right of your keyboard. And almost done here. Okay. Now I'm going to take a look at my score. Where do I want to start putting some other notes in? Um, just doing some formatting here. I like to make, I like to put four bars on each system. It's just better looking and it helps the performers know or the conductor or whoever know where the phrasing is. And this song has four bar phrases so it's nice and aesthetically pleasing. Alright, I'm going to start putting in drum set notes. So what I'm going to do is go to properties right here and I'm going to put the symbol in first and what you do is you select the note make sure the note head is showing Yep. and then go and select that first one at the top, the X in Sibelius on your drum set the the, uh, the G or the, the space on top of the staff is going to be uh, your sh shorter symbol sound whatever you're going to want that to be right or whatever and then I thought that the bottom line here was the bass sound that I wanted for this purpose and the uh, third space there is the snare that I want. I'm just going to copy and paste. So 
this is a pretty simple little ditty I'm doing here. I'm just going to copy and paste this stinky little drum rhythm. Oh, and here I noticed that I have more measures than necessary, so I'm going to control click on the first measure I don't need, and then shift to the end and just delete it all. And no problem. Okay, so just a quick glance, and then I think I am ready to make an instrument change. So I'm going to select the where I want it to change. I'm going to give the glockenspiel the um, the timpani part. I picked the glockenspiel because there's a really big rest, so that any glock player could have plenty of time to switch to the timpani. The timpani and the drum set are two instruments that need plenty of time to set up for. And again, I'm just putting in a dinky little timpani bass line. And if, uh, if you didn't catch what I just did, I'll, I'm going to do it again. Um, I went to create, uh, to create an other, an instrument change. And I'm going to do it right now again with the vibraphone. I'm going to create down to other an instrument change and I'm picking the instrument that I would like to be playing now and I'm picking sleigh bells. I'm going to slide that over there. Sometimes Bailey's does that. No big deal. The, the line there is B. If you press B on your keypad you'll get that note right there. And there we go. And that is essentially how you're going to want to put in notes and make instrument changes. It's not necessary to have six performers to play this simple little thing. That's why I taught you how to change instruments. That's typically how it works. Just putting in a metronome mark here so that the playback works, so the performers know roughly how fast, you know, what tempo they should be playing. I'm going to put in a few dynamics just for the sake of demonstration. I'll show you the finished product in a moment. And I don't know why I typed this. I'm narrating it now. But now I will show you my finished product. Dot, dot, dot. Happy Holidays! Merry Christmas! Here it is! I was hoping to be able to play it back for you, but this program doesn't have sound. But it's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I'll post, I'll post a sound file or a MIDI or something onto my static MUE website so you can hear it. I put a little bit of time into it. I thought it was cute. Just thinking about my viewers. I hope this video doesn't get played in class. Probably shouldn't have said that. I'm setting myself up now. Again, I don't know why I typed this. I already said happy holidays. Now I'm, it's like saying goodbye twice to the same person. It's just awkward now. That's all, folks.